Mars, the planet of fire, will go into debilitation now, unfortunately. <laughs> so, are we done or is it just beginning? See, debilitated planets are not bad planets. If you think debilitated planet means the energy is finished, no. It is not correct. Debilitated planet means the energy is misdirected. The same energy does not go to zero. It does not get dissipated into randomness. It goes in the wrong direction. Con concentrated energy goes in the wrong direction. So, therefore, transit of planets in debilitation are equally important compared to exaltation. Okay. Now, what are the dates? 20th October this year and then it will re-enter Gemini because it's retrograde. Ideally from Cancer it should go to Leo but it will enter Gemini on 21st of January 2025 and we will discuss the retrogression separately but nonetheless uh, let's discuss for every ascendant what could happen and as usual if you are new then don't forget to subscribe to the channel below and hit the thumbs up if you enjoy the content and personalized horoscope consultations through my website down in the description section only and I will be in New Delhi India from 25th November to 2nd of December and in Guwahati from 10th of December to 10th of January next year and in both the places I will be available for personalized one-to-one -one consultations and there are also special offers for uh, those who want this face-to-face -face reading so if you want a consultation with me personally face to face then please send an email at exoticastrology at the rate gmail.com all right now let's go to the first ascendant the lucky ones Aries as always right so for Aries Mars is a very important planet because he's your Lagna Lord so Mars now will drive your entire life energy and he's also the eighth Lord right so now this transit for you will be in the sign of Cancer in the 4th house. Okay, Cancer is your 4th house. And during this transit, Mars will affect matters related to your home or you know your mother or your comfort and vehicles especially. Especially if Venus Dasha is running uh, for you, Venus Mahadasha, Antar Dasha, then vehicles could be impacted or there could be some accidents while traveling. Okay, so please uh, be aware of that. There could be some uh, electricity problems at your house or yeah, there could be some, you know, like uh, please check the engine of your car and if you are outside of India, you know, in Europe or in uh, America, uh, you, you need to check the heating system, you know, anything to do with fire. In India, check your gas, kitchen and all this, okay? Wherever fire is there in the house, your geyser, your heater and all this, you need to be careful with that, okay? So... And on the subtle side, you may experience conflicts at your home because the 8th Lord transiting in the 4th can be problematic for the home. There could be some traumatic events at your house, okay? Now, not like, you know, somebody leaves the world, but there could be issues where, you know, there somebody has had some accidents or health issues or financial issues. And... Uh, yeah, this, this can weaken your uh, physical vitality also to a bit. Or you may, you know, uh, do things which are actually not important. You know, like for example, when your lagnesh is in debility, your determination may be a bit lower. Okay, so when determination is lower, what do you do? You, you know, eat wrong things, you see wrong things, you hear wrong things, you speak wrong things, right? So therefore, make a note of your time and don't waste time. And please try to mark and see where your time is going. If you can do this, it, it's a great success because then you will know what you're doing, okay? And emotionally, there could be instability because the fourth house is also emotions and eighth house, you know what it is, right? Eighth house is the graveyard. So, there could be sudden, you no know, mood swings, you know, emotional outbursts, you know, there could be health challenges and it's best to avoid risky behavior especially if you are into the stock market be careful before investing into uh, meme coins or penny, penny stocks okay very important and yes your focus should be on healing yourself because otherwise if you do not heal yourself then you will uh, yeah you will punish those who did not cause any distress to you all right so aries take care 
now we go to Taurus. This transit is in Cancer, but in your third house. Mars at third house. Fantastic position, right? Yes, but it's in debility. <laughs> so, it is fantastic indeed, but this means you may you may take out your energy on people who don't deserve it. Okay, so this transit may bring difficulties in communication, you know, relationships with your siblings or challenges in pursuing your creative self-expression. Because see, the fifth, uh, the eleventh house from the fifth house is the third house, so it's like the gain of your creativity, your self-expression. Okay, so yeah, so it could happen. You know, you are going to some to pursue your hobby, you know, sports or anything like that, and then you pick up a fight with somebody. So. For Taurus, it is imperative that you should be aware that there could be problems with acquaintances and people in general. Okay, people who you don't know so much, okay, or you with whom you don't interact so much, you know, like, yeah, it could be a colleague in a different team or somebody, you know, and especially in social media, there could be, uh, you, you might be tempted to, you know, yeah, write some hate speech or support somebody who uh, gives hate speech. So, those people who you rarely meet, they could end up giving you trouble or you may end up giving trouble to them. Okay, so this is very important that you uh, make sure that you keep all your relations cordial with people to whatever extent and don't fall into their trigger. Okay, they might try to trigger you. And also Mars is your 7th Lord, 12th Lord, you know, so this can impact relationships. So communication in your relationships, especially with your husband or wife, this may be impacted severely, okay? You may communicate or you may fight for the wrong reasons. You know, it's like you are fighting on things which actually does not matter anymore. Okay. So therefore, if this is happening or if you see that you are fighting for unworthy things, then better to stop. Okay. And there could be unexpected expenditures, of course, during travels. There could be problems in travel. So if you are traveling overseas or to a different state or city, yeah, keep some cash handy with you. Your cards may not work or something like that. It could happen. And there could be disruption in uh, your sleep patterns, okay? So focus on uh, lowering down your pitch, you know, and your tone. Very, very, very important. Your tone and your pitch. Uh, be careful with your speech, okay? <laughs> and don't be too aggressive. And, and don't make impulsive decisions, you know, like for example, you may say, oh yeah, you know, I want this, but... Have you asked your spouse, is it good or bad? Okay, if not, then maybe it's time you consult your spouse. So, before making a one-sided decision, uh, please take into consideration other people, all right? And be careful of what you write in social media. It can backfire at times, all right? All the best, Taurus. Now, we go to Gemini. This is in the second house. This is like a temporary Manglik Dosha. <laughs> So this can bring up, you know, issues in your family, yeah, regarding finances or speech in general and uh, financial planning may be a bit affected and there could be uh, harsh or aggressive speech that you use, okay, and this can cause family disharmony. So if you have a family, if you're married or, you know, even if you have a parents, which I'm sure you do. You need to be very careful with what you speak because you may be tempted to blast on them. Okay, so this is not good. And also, Mars is your 6th Lord and 11th Lord. So, this is like, you know, certainly something to do with money. Okay, so, or it could be related to money which the entire family controls, you know, like your the assets of your parents or something like that. So there could be issues like your like your family has some loans, you know, because the sixth lord will show loans, okay? And there could be disputes or, you know, health or, you know, yeah, health of your family members or, you know, there could be obstacles in achieving some family goals. Like, for example, if you are about to get married, uh, you know, this winter uh, in India especially, then, uh, yeah, that you could anticipate, you should anticipate that there could be some sudden occurrences which happen, you know, like some relatives are fighting and <clears throat> fighting, not just fighting, everybody fights during a wedding <laughs> in India. But it's like serious fighting, you know, or fighting between your family and the in-laws, okay? So, if you are the bride or the groom, uh, you have to make sure, try your best to see that 
you your family and your in-laws are not quarreling okay and then if you are married you know, there could be some issues with your children and you know your friends circle also because the 11th house is also involved okay so yeah your social circle or you know somebody from your family somebody in your social circle might say something to your family members and you might be pissed off okay so there could be conflicts related to your social circle and family so make sure you uh, you keep your cool when you go to gatherings okay <laughs> and try to avoid lending money to others okay you may never get it back okay and then uh, take care of your health also okay that is also important and don't eat too much spicy food because second house shows your uh, eating habits you know and then you may have you know diarrhea constipation all these problems okay because the sixth house also shows diseases okay so yeah i mean make sure you are eating right okay to whatever extent possible and try to reduce intake of spicy food especially red chilies okay all the best gemini now we go to cancer what's going on cancer this is in your first house mangal is entering your first house fifth lord tenth lord phenomenal planet for you but he's in debility <laughs> this is like for you mars is like a planet who wants to help you but now he wants to help you but not in the best way okay so it's like uh, creating troubles for you okay so therefore if 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 you have health issues then please make sure you get the right treatment and your behavior could be very impulsive you know you could be irritated for no reason okay and your behavior could be very aggressive and you may feel you know emotionally unstable or you may be prone to conflicts like normally suppose your spouse or your parents or your friends or your colleagues and they are joking with you normally and you are like okay yeah bol bolo 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 all bolo <laughs> and then they are they are speaking something which they always speak and you are never triggered but this time you may be triggered so if if uh, you are a friend uh, to some cancer ascendant but i'm sure you are cancer ascendant that's why you are seeing this but just in case you know you have another friend also who is a cancer ascendant then make sure you don't speak things which they don't like okay otherwise they will backfire and there could be your blood pressure could increase you know your pulse could increase all these things could happen and these could happen because of professional setback okay because 10th lord is coming to the lagna even if there is no setback but you are like you know too obsessed with the results you know oh i want to get this done okay so therefore the 5th house 10th house both of them control your reputation so you may become extremely image conscious extremely reputation conscious and that could give you sleepless night so try to let go of all the externals to whatever extent possible very important so if you have children they could sit on your head sometimes so you 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 got to be careful with that okay and if you are doing some creative work some creative projects you are associated with yeah they may become a source of stress so essentially two things your creative life uh, your children and your work life your reputation these things will give you stress okay <clears throat> and they can kind of take away your sleep also and you know you may be tempted to not sleep and keep watching reels in the night till 2 3 am okay so that's dangerous so try to maintain a peace uh, and patience especially okay so for you it's imperative that you do some pranayam or uh, you know you may go to some show or somebody might invite you for you know debates and all this and then mm, you go and you say things which you regret later okay because you feel my reputation is at stake take care cancer <laughs> now we go to simha lagna simha 12th house cancer is the 12th house mars will transit there Ooh, fourth lord ninth lord tough one mm. Mars is lording great houses for Leo but now it's a uh, yeah it, it's it's like trouble okay so Mars in 12th house can lead to sudden expenses because of you know anything i mean there could be you know accidents or you know like cut 
<laughs> somewhere in the body. So be careful when you are using, you know, like sharp objects or, you know, sharp utensils, you know, scissors and knife and all this. And also with vehicles, especially be very careful. Be very careful in going to like, you know, places where the construction is not proper, you know, like some construction site you are going or try avoid doing things which you have not done before unless it is completely required. Okay, like you go to this, what is that airway, you know, that you sit in that trolley and it keeps going. So I would say better avoid doing all this. Okay, so your sleep may be disturbed. You may uh, get into trouble because of law, because the ninth house is associated. So try not to break any rule or any law, you know, I mean, try to do that which is required, even if that takes some more money because the 12th house will anyways take money from you, okay? So if if you think that, you know, you can uh, escape the 12th house by, by paying less money, maybe, you know, you, you don't file your tax returns or wherever, I mean, if you are in the US or wherever, and then you think, oh yeah, I have to spend money to give to the accountant, and then you get a bill, you get an invoice from the tax authorities, and then the rest is history, right? So there could also be issues in foreign travels, or you know, when you are isolated, you may feel a bit low, a bit down, and you may, you you may feel that you are not making it big in life. Okay, so you may also feel mentally or emotionally uneasy. You know, something or the other is like blocking you for no reason. So therefore, you could also face challenges related to your mother. So fourth lord in the 12th, you know, maybe because of your mother's health, you know, there is expenditure. Okay, you have to come or there is some issue with your vehicles or your property where, where you stay. Okay, your home that could need some repairs. And... And due to some reason, you may feel that, you know, your mentors are not helping you. So ninth Lord going into 12th in debility, it's like, you know, your belief systems are like, you don't know what you believe in. <laughs> okay. So you might be tempted to make some hasty decisions related to property, especially. And uh, yes, you might feel that uh, you, you are not taking care of yourself properly. So, for Leo, it's a difficult time. Try avoid doing things which you have never done before or going to places where you have not gone before. And try avoid making such decisions which will have, you know, long-term impact. Of course, if it's an emergency, you might have to make that decision. That's fine. But try to see if you can manage it without getting hyper about it. Okay? All the best, Leo. Now we go to Vargo, Vargo, this transit luckily is in your 11th house, okay? Difficult one for everybody, but for you it's much better. Now, 11th house could impact your social connections that could lead to conflicts with friends or dissatisfactions with fulfilling desires. So, what could happen is, for you, your desires might be fulfilled to a large extent or to some extent, depending on your dashas, but what happens is, your you will feel that you need everything now, okay? And that impulsive behavior can cost you. You you may regret your your decisions and especially your speech because, yeah, Mars is your third lord, okay? So, therefore, uh, he's also your eighth lord. So, third lord, your speech, communication, eighth house, you know, eighth house is destruction. So, you might have problems uh, with your siblings especially, okay? So your siblings might become, uh, yeah, they might become cold-hearted towards you. <laughs> and you may say, oh, what is this? You know, you don't care about me. And maybe they don't. <laughs> and there could be a situation where uh, you are moving ahead. Everything seems to be good. At the last moment, there's a problem. And you're like, bang, what is this? What the hell? What the hell? I didn't expect this. So... If you have some plans after 20th uh, October especially and uh, you, if if there's a gut feeling within you which is telling you, you know, maybe there could be something which might go wrong, then it will go wrong. Okay, so take the precautions and make sure you have some backup. Okay, so don't think everything will be fine. Okay. So you may get the success, but you might have to spend some more money or, you know, like 
you might have to spend time or attention okay so be a bit prepared for going the extra mile okay and your uh, your emotional your mental health would go for a toss because what can happen is your mind is you know like going on continuously desiring things desiring 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 and then after that what is happening is you are you feel it's not worth anymore okay so therefore if you have problems with your mental health then it is imperative that you take caution and you take precautions okay so don't get into depression and yeah don't get into alcohol or you know watching yeah adult material in the internet smoking and all this so try to try to be engaged don't waste time and please take a calendar and mark every hour what did i do at 9 am 10 am 11 12 you know 13 14 15 what did i do the whole day otherwise your what will happen to you virgo is at the end of the day you will realize oh you did absolutely nothing and and that will make you very frustrated okay because you may feel that uh, you are running the whole day it's like you know running in the treadmill uh, but you are not going anywhere neither are you burning calories okay <laughs> so be accountable and see wh where your time is going all right take care virgo now we go to libra lagna 10th house cancer good or bad so mars transiting the 10th house could impact your career bringing conflicts at work or misunderstandings with superiors there may be a general lack of motivation you may feel that you have not made it in your career okay you may feel this this is like a internal thing which might happen so mars rules your second and the seventh okay very 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 important so financial issues could rise okay and there may be misunderstandings with your spouse or your business partner very 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 important so focus on clear communication and avoid impulsive decisions related to your married life or your professional life or there could be a situation where you are like you know kind of starting a new work or your spouse is starting a new work and then uh, yeah it's like saying uh, how do you manage your home right so that that could be a situation uh, there could be a similar situation like this which you might face or some family member you know is starting work or your uh, spouse or your family member loses their job well, then what happens to your finances so your finances your career and your spouse all the three are somehow linked not in the best possible way this is what you have to understand Libra Lagna and you may feel that your boss is not listening to you or you know your your contribution is not acknowledged in the company okay so therefore if you feel that in general there is you know lack of motivation then do your best and leave the rest to god you don't have to win everything now okay so therefore if you have problems then that's fine you can you can do it later also you don't have to like you know cram everything in these months okay so if you feel that life is not doing justice to you in terms of your career then maybe it's just a mental thing so now what will happen is you will feel more okay you will feel that everybody is ahead of you you know he's ahead she's ahead blah 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 okay and then because of that you may feel you are doing not good in life so avoid comparison and avoid being too critical of yourself okay take care libra now we have scorpio ascendant what about scorpio scorpio cancer is your ninth house so mars is transiting the ninth lagna lord in the ninth right and also sixth lord of dispute so now you may feel that your motivation is kind of low because there are too many things which you need to figure out sometimes the ninth house can overwhelm you so if you feel that you know there are like too many rules regulations and you no know, like there are too many obstacles which are like hampering you then it is imperative that you uh, you understand that you don't have to do everything at once okay so especially if you are facing that facing this situation where your mind is telling you that enough is enough i can't do it anymore 
because there are too many things so then you should break down your goal into small small parts okay and then uh, once you do this then you will understand that you are able to uh, contribute much more at a higher level okay and then achieve those targets and then aim for a bigger goal don't just think of climbing the mount everest at once okay because the sixth house you know ninth house lagna this can tell you like everything has to be done now now or never okay but that's not the case it's just your mind okay so there could be obstacles which you face related to you know higher education or travel or relationships with your fatherly figures or your boss you know and you may feel disconnected from your beliefs okay and so if this happens would be a problematic situation okay so therefore mars also rules your lagna so your thought process will be challenged you may feel confused you may think okay what what is this uh, am, am i right am i wrong okay when i'm thinking this okay so your health issues may surface and then you may face challenges in your daily work routines or your work environment so essentially maintain discipline do your best and leave the rest and try to avoid arguments particularly with seniors authority figures fatherly figures okay otherwise you will realize uh, they will not help you and you will be all by yourself okay so don't screw up your relationship with those who can help you otherwise you are all by yourself take care scott you now we go to sagittarius what's going on sagittarius this is in your ashtam eighth house right oof difficult one 12th lord 5th lord in the eighth difficult one sagittarius not good news for you okay but relax it's it's okay <laughs> so mars transiting the 8th house may bring sudden changes transformation especially in terms of your health okay this is very critical possible health cons concerns could be there there could be chances of you know getting into addiction so be cautious while traveling or dealing with joint finance as very 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 important okay and mars rules your fifth and 12th so romantic relationships specifically or matters concerning children may face obstacles okay so additionally there may be increased expenditure or challenges in your sleep very important so you may see that you know you are seeing like uh, some weird dreams and you know you are not getting sleep and every day you are seeing a different dream okay <laughs> some day you are flying in the sky you know some day you are running you know running from home <laughs> you don't know but you are running okay it's like you know uh, you are running and you know, somebody is chasing you sometimes you are in uh, down uh, in there in the uh, what is that tunnel and you are like ah what will happen now right so these things can happen sometimes you may see see snakes okay so these are things which i have seen because mars represents you know the police and you know so you may kind of so what happens if imagine you or yourself as a criminal maybe you are not <laughs> and then you are running and the police is chasing behind you right chor police chor police chor police so that could happen in the night okay yeah be a bit careful with that okay so yes uh, matters concerning children also uh, may face obstacles you know some some uh, your your children may you know face some issues in their school or you know if they are grown up and married you know in their relationships and there could be ex increased expenditure or challenges in uh, your spiritual life also okay so for example you are sitting and tr trying to chant the mantras but it's not happening you, you are not feeling like chanting the mantras you know it's kind of not working okay so try to avoid speculative activities through the stock market during this time otherwise you may lose it all okay so be careful so sagittarius not the best period for you maintain caution especially with your health and be prepared for some sudden nonsense to happen okay nobody knows what that will be because that depends on your chart but you will be like oh even this happened so unexpected or like somebody cheats you cheat means not you know your spouse but you know some friend or you know somebody spreads lies against you this defamation and all this okay 
So be prepared for things which you never thought you would have needed preparation for. Okay. So therefore, be alert and uh, counter uh, false narratives against you if they are being, you know, spread somewhere. Uh, but do that with caution and with respect. Okay. So protect yourself and don't lose money in the stock market. All right. Sagittarius, take care. Now we go to Capricorn. What's going on Capricorn? Cancer is in the seventh house. Oh, this is like a strong Manglik dosha, which you will get temporarily. Okay. So Mars transit in the seventh house can bring problems in relationships with your spouse, especially. Okay. So there could be conflicts, you know, there could be disagreements and, you know, yeah, you may say something and your spouse says, no, 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 uh, this is not what I think, you know. I, I will say something totally different. So there could be tensions within the home and, you know, you, you may feel uh, less support also. Why home? Because Mars is your fourth lord and he's also your eleventh lord. So, you know, there could be tension within the home and you may feel that uh, friends are not supporting you. Okay, your contacts are not supporting you. So your social circles may let you down sometimes. So focus on fostering peace in relationships and avoid being overly assertive, especially with your spouse, okay? Or with your business partners. Otherwise, what will happen is people will feel choked up and then they may accuse you of, you know, bullying them or dominating them because uh, this can also happen uh, in your workplace because from the 7th, Mars will aspect the 10th house with its 4th aspect, then the Lagna, and then it will aspect your 2nd house, which will be like your family members. So if your family members or your spouse or you know your colleagues and yourself, because Lagna is your head, right? So if your family, spouse and your colleagues, they are facing the wrath from you, then they may kind of, you know, tell bye-bye to you, okay? So, which is not good. So, therefore, you need to understand that now you have to do some negotiation. So, it could it could happen that you face a situation where, you know, you, you and your spouse, you have to like, you know, uh, sit together and uh, you have to decide who is going to do what, okay? Maybe there is some new requirement, okay? So if that is the case, then you have to understand that it will not just work superficially. You have to sit down and delegate the responsibilities to each other, okay? Home responsibilities, okay? Because the fourth lord is involved, okay? Very, very important. And don't keep too much expectation from people because they may frustrate you because the 11th house represents people in general who don't disappoint you. But now they may end up disappointing you. Or your friend circle may try to influence your relationship with your spouse. You know, they may say, oh, look at your husband or wife. He or she is doing like this, you know, and then that might bog you a bit. Okay. So don't listen too much to other people and try to see what you can do from your side. Okay. So understand that negotiation will be required and you have to strike a deal with your spouse or your family members or your colleagues, okay? And be prepared for it. Take care, Capricorn. Now we go to Aquarius Ascendant. Aquarius, what is going on? Sixth house, cancer. Uh -huh. It's time to get back to work. <laughs> but I'm already working. <laughs> is, is more work coming? Well, there could be. Also, there could be health issues which might come. There could be disputes at work or conflicts with colleagues, okay? So, take care of your health, you know, your diet and uh, by this you will, you will evade all the existing problems or new problems, okay? So, try to reduce uh, all the conflicts that you have in your life because sixth house shows conflicts in general, okay? And... Mars is your uh, third house and your tenth house. Very, very, very important planet. He's your tenth lord. So, relationships with your siblings and your professional uh, colleagues may go for a toss. Or it could happen that, you know, you are signing, uh, you are coming into some kind of a 
conflict or you you feel that now we have to sign like a deal okay so maybe there are some property disputes you know with your siblings or you know like uh, yeah with your colleagues with your boss because the 10th house is involved okay so because of this what can happen is uh, you may feel that uh, nobody is helping you especially your siblings and your colleagues or your boss and now you got to do it yourself because the 6th house shows things <clears throat> that you got to do yourself so now if you are a youtuber and you know you have a team who makes your thumbnails and all this then you may uh, suddenly feel that uh, they are not performing properly they are not making good thumbnails your views are down your you are not getting subscribers you are not getting clients okay so all these things could be there and uh, if you if you take care then uh, it can be solved but be prepared to work 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 okay smart work is good but now you also got to work hard okay so now smart work uh, may not yield all the best results you have to you have to work like 18 hours 20 hours okay now when i say work i don't mean you got to work only you know in your job or in your business in your profession it could be work in general okay and avoid taking loans and uh, take care of your health okay that's very important so aquarius tough one but you will sail through it all the best okay last but not the least we have pisces ascendants this is in your pancham sthan fifth house okay so mars in fifth is generally good for spiritual practices not good for other things so it's a great time to chant mantras and you know deepen your connection with your guru or your ishta devata or god himself but for the other things oof, you need to maintain caution especially in your love life and relationships with your children and creativity so you yeah you have to be careful with what you speak to your children how you are approaching your creative work no and especially emotional stability is very important because fifth house shows your vision in life and yeah sometimes you may feel that you know your uh, you, your vision is like wrecked okay you you are like what the hell do i do in life now so suddenly there could be identity crisis okay because mars also rules your ninth house and your second house so both the trines are involved so you may feel that your purpose your vision your ideals your conception of being in this world is now challenged and therefore there could be you know financial challenges also which you feel like where should i invest my money how should i invest when should i withdraw okay all this craziness could be there and there could be obstacles in you know like higher learning or yeah even even doing during doing spiritual practices okay so be cautious uh, in financial dealings and try to avoid arguments particularly with you know elders or mentors and if you feel that nobody is listening to you then try to do more meditation okay and try to be more creative try to you know do some singing dancing painting or whatever you know make youtube videos do things that you love okay if you do this then you will actually understand that you are able to uh, make the best use of a bad bargain okay otherwise you may feel everybody is against you and yeah your father especially or fatherly figures you know they are not helping you okay so therefore be respectful to everybody be kind to your children and to your family members okay please take care everyone jai sri ram